Hey guys, Lila's Tools here. Hope all of you are having a above average day for sure. Um, got another tool haul. Uh, everything here today is all new items and it is all from KMS Tools in good old Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So, uh, let's start off with just out of frame here. Picked myself up a Empire Framing Square. There is your model number right there. It's a 16 by 24 and it's their high vis true blue whatnot. And it is made in good old USA. Limited lifetime warranty. It's got all sorts of features. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I don't know how to use all the features, but I didn't have a framing square this size, and I do use them mostly just for marking and whatnot. But uh yeah, and it was on sale, so I picked this guy up. As you can see, it's very, very detailed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of goodies on there. So I'll just sit him back here. And you just hang out there. Um, and while we're at it, uh, next we'll go over... Picked me up a Holta 4's marking pencil along with a pack of refills that come in red, yellow, and the standard gray. So it comes uh, in a little pouch here. It's got a nice clip on it. You can clip it right on the side of the toolbox, on your, your overalls, whatever you're doing. And it's got a lock retention in there. So you just take some force, so that's never coming out unless you pull it out purposely. Which is nice. See there. It's very nice actually. Steel on the end here. So you push the end. And your lead comes out. It won't just fall out though. And you can see you can pull it out. Push it back in. And if you... Oh, hold on. Uh, you can push it back. Put it back in. And then... It will fully retract, but uh, it does allow you to uh, keep it out, and it comes, yeah, little pencil sharpener, right, built in here, so you just stick your pencil in there, and like that, and now we have a finer point. You can see it coming out of my hand there, just like that. And what's what's good? Why are these special? Uh, it essentially replaces. Uh, I don't know where mine is, but it replaces your carpenter's pencil and it replaces your standard drawing writing pencil um, because it both is thick enough to make your thick lines, but also thin enough for your small writing. It does pretty much everything you'd want a pencil to do in a marking or writing way. It's quite comfortable actually, I like it a lot. Um, and these were on sale. Uh, they're, they're not cheap, but they're not expensive, they're about $15 and I took the tag off it. This is made in Romania, which is very cool. Yes, yeah, so well $15 for the, the pencil on sale and about eight or nine for the refill pack. And there is another refill pack that uh, is diff different in some way. I don't exactly remember though. And that's the part number on the refills there. I do believe. And those are made in Romania as well. Which is pretty cool. And we've got a bee or something in here buzzing around. Eh, he won't bother us. Okay. Uh, this isn't anything too special. It's just a paint marker. Uh, Malaysia. Standard paint marker. Uh, I just didn't have a... Well, I had a couple, but they are all dried up, so I just got a new one. Just for things you need to mark with a paint marker. You know how it is. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, next up, we over a few socket pickups. Um, so I got this guy. 25mm. Proto USA. Half inch drive, six point. That's just to uh, fill out a set. Um, with that guy, I need a... 25 deep six point chrome and then I have uh, 10 to 27 all complete 
I might be missing a 26. My rail doesn't have a 26. That annoys me. If, if you guys are socket junkies like me, and your rail skip the 26, does that annoy you? Because I know it annoys the heck out of me. I think this was 17 for this guy. I had this on my list when I went in to get. Uh, this is a Proto USA. This is a 1 in 3 sixteenths, half, 6 point. Um, again, socket rail skip over this size. It's not super common, but there are applications for this, and there are applications where I have needed it. And, uh, I don't think I had a, I didn't have a, I know I didn't have a wrench, and I didn't have a socket, so I'd use an adjustable, and I think, I don't think it worked out in the end. It was too tight for the adjustable. Anyway, so yeah. Got that guy. Uh, not cheap. About 20 bucks. But life to warranty. Proto's great to deal with. And you have, of course, your... Uh, uh, like uh, I was saying here, your, your fluted, uh, fluted corners on your drive. So that doesn't round off sockets. And when I saw... When I was there and I saw this guy. This is a Proto USA Impact. 1 and 3 sixteenths. 6 point. Half. Uh, I decided to pick it up too, so I'm covered, because I th a lot of the time, when you're dealing with something this size, if you can fit an impact on it, you want to stick an impact on it. So, there's our sockets. Now, to go with our sockets, I picked up this guy here. This is a PT performance tool. This is a half to three quarter inch adapter. Impact rated. Uh, yeah, impact rated, lifetime warranty, it is chrome vanadium, which, if you guys didn't know, doesn't mean it's junk, because chrome vanadium can be okay for impact, it all depends on the heat treat. That's, that's just really how it is. Um, and it is made in Taiwan. Good old Lilmar. So yeah, um, and this guy was nice and cheap, it was only 7 or 8 bucks, and I didn't have an impact rated adapter for 3 quarter, I don't have uh, any... Um, three-quarter uh, tool to drive three-quarter being a three-quarter so I'm adapting half and I didn't have an impact rated adapter and now I do so there's that guy <coughs> pardon me uh, next up good old Titan we have the two-piece flexible extension set three-eighths and quarter limited lifetime warranty if any of you uh, dealt with Titan for warranty uh, I know Caddis Maximus. Uh, if you don't watch him on YouTube, you should definitely check him out. Uh, just some great uh, tool reviews. Um, but he says he's had a hard time sorry, uh, with uh, Warranty and Titan. Uh, these are made in Taiwan, and you can see how it works there. So uh, let me grab a drive tool here. Snap on ratchet with <laughs> a Titan extension. Oh, it. Definitely, it's got a good detent in there. They are branded Titan on the top. So how this would work? Uh, do we have a right socket somewhere? I'm sure we do. There we go. So okay. So you can see wobbledy wobbledy. So we can go and get at a fastener at a funky angle and. These are not high torque, but this is for, for getting a nut or bolt started, or something loose, something I would say 12 millimeter and under kind of thing, 9 sixteenths and below, or half and below, but uh, yeah, this set, uh, I'll show you there, they're branded Titan, and CRV, chrome vanadium, yeah, 3 eighths and quarter, and these were only about 9 bucks. Actually, I have my receipt here. Let me double check. Nine ninety nine, um, and there was a set that looked identical from Nico, um, but Nico does not have a lifetime warranty. So if these do break, I'll definitely contact Titan and see what goes on there. So there's those guys. <laughs> uh, while we're on the topic of Titan, I picked up another thing from them. This is the Titan. 35505 three piece universal set spring loaded quarter three it's half auto flex made in Taiwan and I'm not sure but the first person or first company I seen with this style of tool 
was uh, Motivex. You automotive guys have probably seen them, some of their uh, oil funnel adapters and whatnot. But what these are, your standard universal swivel, however you guys like to call it. But look at this. So, okay, we're going to bend this way and this way. Okay, so we're going to see how it is. Now look. Both ways. You're spring-loaded. So, in theory, these should never get floppy on you. So, you're not trying to feed in. Like, you can put a big socket on here, 27. It does flop a little. Just, just for a comparison, I should have a adapter around here somewhere. Here, we have an old, real old SK. It's not tight, but it's not loose, so let's see. <laughs> that uh, looks like what happens after you jump in a cold lake. And uh, this one, you can see how much it goes, and then it still has another 15, 20 degrees angle. Um, so yeah, these uh, you know, if if they work and they uh, hold up, these are actually a real game changer. I think uh, a lot of people could get good use out of these. They do have a nice sort of uh, uh, jimped, I suppose you could say, ring. So you could turn these by hand pretty easily. And uh, the quarter inch isn't absurdly large as I've seen some, and the half inch isn't absurdly large, which can be a good and a bad thing. If space is a concern, you want something as big as possible, so it's as strong as possible. But, nowadays, the things we work on, almost everything is a space constraint, so... That's just what it is, right? <coughs> uh, those guys ran me on sale. They ran me... $22.95. I think they're regular $29. So, uh... Less than 10 bucks a piece. I think you're getting a pretty good bargain there. Now uh, we're getting to the end here. I picked up, uh, I think, my, one of my first tools uh, from CTA. This is their 2049 drain plug socket set. This is 8mm and 10mm. Made in Taiwan. So, what we have here are square plugs. No, they're not adapters, but these are for transmissions, etc., etc. Uh, I know specifically, I believe these are for some Suzuki's, and that's not something I've had to deal with yet. But you know, the right tool for the job, and I like to be prepared. So I got these two, and they were a total of a total of. Da, 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 da. Eight ninety nine. So, for the price, uh, can't really beat it. So I picked up those two guys, and let's get on to pretty much the uh, main item I went in for. So, this is the Lyle two four six eight zero spill free funnel. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's getting a little dry. So, what I believe you can do with this, well, not believe, I know you can do. You have adapters. You can put this on your radiator, lock it on, fill it with coolant, let it go in, let it burp out, start the engine, whatever you want. Coolant, uh, you know, stays in, fills back up, whatever. Put a plunger in it, take it off the radiator, keep the coolant in here, without it spilling because of this stopper and just a lifesaver even if you're uh, I mean this is a, like made for coolant but it could be good for a lot of things really so it comes this is you're supposed to keep this because you're supposed to keep all the accessories in here uh, this is a flexible plastic uh, should hold up just fine uh, it's definitely good and flexible. It's nice and hot right now. Might be brittle in the winter, but it's definitely not junk. There's some instruction A's. And let's go over this. So, 
gives a nice clear image of how it works. See the cap there, the plunger. So, just this simple little thing. Do not allow pressure to build. So you just jam that down in there, and when you jam it in there, it fits nice and snug. Nothing's gonna leak. So that's for sitting in there, okay? So we'll open these adapters. I have to get some zip locks for these. Just throw them out here for right now. And I'll go over them. But in, in my mind, uh, this is one of those tools that, um, what am I saying? Uh, uh, even, even in a shop, if you have a, like a pressure pneumatic uh, coolant, uh, you know, uh, pull it, pull it down to a vacuum and whatever, and, you know, put it in, there's no air. There's sometimes where that's just someone else using the machine or something and you, you know, you need to get the job done. Well, this will pay for itself real quick. So it also comes with these adapters here for length and then offsets. So pretty much 99% of things you're going to be able to get into with all these different swivels. And so this looks like it'd be perfect for my Nissan. So that's a B. A... They're all uh, labeled on them. E, <coughs> excuse me. C, so a red one. B. Okay. So, that way, or. <coughs> Pardon me. I think we go like this. No, I haven't read the instructions yet. So, we push that on there. Push this down in the radiator, then our cap. Let's just take a quick look here. Okay. I believe that's right. Because Yeah, it'd have to go that way. Or it could... Anyway, I have, I have to read up on it, but you guys get the point. Um, I've heard nothing but raving reviews on this, and I had to pick it up. Uh, it was actually the, the day I received my KMS Tools my Flyer in the mail. I was on my way over to PB Mart to buy one of these. Uh, and they were about $57 there, and I look, I'm reading uh, my way there. Uh, or when I was there, whatever. I was reading the flyer. Uh, and they had these on for a total of $39.99. So, I saved myself 15 bucks. Sweet little unit. <laughs> so, guys, uh, that's the haul. Uh, I thank you so much for watching. Uh, you got to the end. Uh, comment. Uh, oh, almost missed. And everything here you've seen is sitting in this gorgeous Ernst 10-piece organizer made in the USA. These are on sale and they will run you $16.49. Uh, they're regular, about $20. Bucks. Uh, Ernst was kind enough to send me out some product and they sent me out one of their 10-piece organizers and I'm beyond thrilled with it and I had to pick myself up another. The only complaint is that KMS Tools doesn't carry them in high viz or orange or green, just the red and the black. Uh, anyways, guys, I do thank you so much for watching. Get to the end, comment Ernst or something, just to let me know you're watching to the end. Always appreciate it. Uh, Instagram down in the description, leave a comment, etc. And as always, guys, take it easy.